There's always a cause worth fighting for Once you stop trying to be Should've known when you invited me to lunch there was a catch. Catch? The problem with the meal or the company? Well, I guess talking to you was more interesting than the dossier you slipped in my menu. So what's the deal with this Pedro Santiago? Why are we flying him up from Berkeley? It was all in your dossier. Oh, right. Something about the meatloaf special, a Cuban scientist, and a side of slaw. Never put a dossier on a woman's menu when she's hungry. Uh, Pedro Santiago is one of our top scientists. When he defected from Cuba 17 years ago, he was already working on his cold fusion engine. Cold fusion? You mean like when your tongue sticks to your skeeple? Not exactly. It's revolutionary in the field of energy production. So what's that got to do with his daughter coming in with the national soccer team? If you'd read your dossier... Okay, you really gotta let go of this whole dossier thing. Chance of seeing his daughter after all these years has... Well, let's just say that Santiago is finding it difficult to concentrate on his work. So this is all about keeping this guy happy so he continues working? Sounds like blackmail to me. I prefer to think of it as a distraught father longing to see his daughter. And I prefer to think Schwarzenegger's qualified to be governor. Doesn't make it true. How soon do I get to see my daughter? I'm working on it. Ever since I found out she was coming to the United States, I haven't been able to think of anything else. <laughs> Cuban Secret Service. I don't think they wanted to kill him now. No. They want to take me back to Cuba. There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Yeah, I think we even have time for a Slurpee before Mom picks us up. Oh, no, don't you put yourself down. This was fun. The food, the company. And a flick that made Gigli look like a classic. Oh, well, you know, actually, if you slept through the middle, it wasn't terrible. <laughs> yeah, I give it two eyes shut. <laughs> Listen, Shane, I feel bad that you paid for everything. Oh, come on, AJ. You treated me the last three days. The beach, a hike, and pretzels at Hooters. <laughs> it didn't cost me anything. Listen. You're a struggling writer. I get it. I promise, as soon as I sell something, we'll do a Beverly Hills dinner. Well, now, I doubt they can beat a hot dog like this in Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah, they could beat it. It just cost you 50 bucks. Hey, hey, give us your money. 
Boy, did they pick the wrong guy to mug. Shut up. Give me the purse. Okay. But the purse comes with the shoes. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Now, is that really better than working for minimum wage? to hear from the defendant who claims that because she got an espresso machine as a shower gift from her sister in she well, should always try that again. again. <laughs> oh, you watch that stupid show again. Judge Jenny not stupid. She's the law. Mm. See, these two roommates are involved in a property dispute. Not listening. Okay, then I'll tell AJ. They're splitting up, and Judge Jenny has to decide who gets the espresso machine. In this case, it's the winner who's going to be steamed. <laughs> Okay, this is why I don't write comedy. Aren't you guys back a little early? Oh, yeah, our date kind of hit the skids when these two punks tried to jack our hot dogs. Oh, my God, you guys got mugged? Lucky for me, I'm dating Jackie Chan. You know those martial arts classes I took finally paid off? Did you get to do the butterfly kick or the jumping roundhouse? You're in the class, too? L.A. is a dangerous place for a single woman. You never know what kind of weirdo you're going to end up on a date with. Like Ted Bundy? Or O.J. Or Bill Maher. Hello? Shay. I need you and Dee Dee in here right away. We've run into some unexpected events in the Pedro Santiago case. Okay, we'll be right over. I need you gotta go. Now? But Judge Jenny's about to rule. I catch it on the evening news. Uh, um, excuse me, aren't we in the middle of the day? I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you. We have a party planning emergency. A party emergency? Vandalay wedding. Ice swan melted, nothing left but beak. Call me. Promise. This job makes it so hard to have a life. Tell me about it. At least in prison, I got to watch the end of my TV shows. This is my daughter, Alejandra. It was taken when she was four. That was the last time I saw her. She's so cute. I mean, from the half that I can see. It broke my heart to leave. But my wife, she begged me to Escaped to the United States while I had the chance. The CIA promised they'd get his family out of Cuba in a month or two. So my wife and I, we tore the photo in half. And we were planning to put it back together again the day we were reunited. But that day never came. What happened? My wife died soon after I left, and Alejandra was put in a state home. Intel says that Alejandra has become a member of the women's Cuban soccer team. They arrived in Los Angeles this morning. They're playing an exhibition match later in the week. Okay, all we have to do is contact Alejandra, let her know what's going on, and kick some Cuban butt. Bam. Bam. Your turn. Sorry, guys, I'd like to boom, but I can't. Why not? Alejandra's been given a new name. We don't know what it is, and we don't know what she looks like. At least they made it easy for us. So she could be any girl on the team. I'll have one of my agents take you to a secure location. As soon as we have your daughter in custody, we will let you know. Gracias. Thank you very much. Someone want to tell me how we're going to pick the right girl when we have Zip to go on? We have a full DNA report on Santiago. You'll go in there and get samples from each player. Well, won't it take too much time to match the DNA? The team will be back in Cuba before we get the results. The lab has assured me we'll have the report in time. Now, oh, don't hold your breath. I asked them to do my vacation photos, and it's been over a month. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have something that I think might help you find the doctor's daughter without having to use DNA, if you, know, you want to save some time. What is it, a Ouija board? A psychic? A milk carton? Ladies, let's at least hear him out. Thank you. This better be good. I developed this age progression software when I was in high school. Ah, uh, I actually thought the judges were going to give me a blue ribbon, but instead they went with Erwin Shapiro's Volcano Project. The same thing happened to me. And I know Becky Shibi's dad did her volcano. Yeah, like you never saw Einstein's father helping him write the theory of relativity. Guys? The idea? Right. Uh, age progression software will take the photo of Alejandra at four years old and extrapolate what she would look like today. Just give me a minute. And there. You sure about the software? Okay. Mm. All right. So we're looking for Mr. Snuffleupagus. I didn't know you watched Sesame Street. Who's your favorite character, Oscar the Grouch? Ladies, please. Speaking of Oscar the Grouch. Duncan, what went wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. 
Maybe because there's only half a photograph, there weren't enough reference points to extrapolate a proper image. Uh, I think we'll stick with the DNA samples. All right, so how exactly are we supposed to do that? Dee Dee, Shane, you'll keep the Cubans busy while Cassie collects DNA samples on every team member. Collecting dead hair. Now that's going on my resume. Practice at the stadium starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Man, this thing is heavy. Here. <clears throat> we're here with the Cuban women's soccer team. Should I say we're here with or we're talking to? How about tell us which player is Alejandro Santiago or I'll punch your lights out. You're a blonde doing a sports interview, trust me. No one's listening. And what exactly do you do? Nothing. I'm a producer. It's cross. Gun speaker. There's been a slight setback. Slight isn't slight? Or slight isn't screwed? You decide. We were unable to get the press passes from the Cuban consulate. Screwed. You'll have to talk your way onto the field. No problem. We're really good at talking. Yes, I know. Just remember the future of cold fusion technology depends on this mission. No pressure, huh? No more than usual. AJ! Hey! Ready, Frank. How long have you been standing there? I just got here. What's with all the video equipment? Uh, it's for a party that we're coordinating. Yeah, we like to record our events. It helps us to... To see what works, what doesn't. Did the omelet bar lay an egg? Do chalupas work in a bris? Do we say ta-ta to tartar? That sort of thing. So, um, what are you doing here? Well, I just wanted to share some good news. After I talked to you guys last night, I called up an editor I know at the Herald and pitched an idea for a feature article. Defensive dating. Lock lips or lock and load. <laughs> He's interested. <laughs> That's great. This could be the break I've been waiting for. Now, I'll need to interview you girls and, you know, get some quotes. Uh, you know, I really want to help you, AJ, but, um, can we talk about this later? Let me guess. Another melting bee. Hey, it gets really hot in the valley. Um... We just really have to go. All right. What do you think? I think we really need to start locking this door. Hey, Ron, it's AJ Matthews. Do you know that lifestyle article I pitched you? Yeah, forget it. I'm on to something big enough to make the front page. So this is the part about being a spy that really blows. Living at the beach? Scoping out half-naked surfer guns? No, we always have to lie to the guys that we go out with. Newsflash? I mean, every woman lies a little to the man she dates. I once told a guy in college I scored 1,600 on my SATs when I really only scored 1,570. Ooh, I bet that got him hot. Actually, it did. Harvard men find intellect extremely seductive. Harvard men are geeky. There are cute guys at Harvard. Like Bill Gates and the Unabomber? Uh, 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 excuse me. Can we please get back to me and my problem? Which is? I can't tell AJ the truth about who I am. So what? Guys don't want to date crime-fighting operatives who rid the world of evil. Men want to date women who don't intimidate them. I don't buy that. Okay, how about no guy wants to date a woman with a criminal record who beats people up for a living? See, that's why I never put you down as a reference. father who loved me as much as Santiago loved his daughter. Yeah. My dad didn't even notice when I ran away for a week in junior high. Thought I was in camp. Well, that's understandable. A lot of kids go to camp. In October? No. No one is allowed on the field during practice. Look, amigo, I'm sure you're just doing your job, but we had our office call the consulate about a week ago and we were promised press passes. Then where are they? Exactly. Which one of your people screwed up? Is there a problem? Well, we're with She Got Game TV. I'm sure you recognize our host, Randy Roberts. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard our slogan. All the news they tell me to say. Well, we were going to do a story on your soccer team, but since we can't get access, I'm thinking we're just going to run a piece on how the communists of New Cuba are once again snubbing the Western press. Go ahead and roll tape. And we're rolling! Please, I'm sure we can work something out. And you would be... Uh, Rosa Gonzalez, I am the head coach of the women's soccer team. And we're always happy to cooperate with the American press. We were promised interviews with you and all your players. That shouldn't be a problem. Do me a couple there. I need to make a call. <clears throat> oh, terrific. No service. Please, use mine. 
Oh, I, uh, the number's programmed in here. I'll just check around for a signal. Go ahead and keep rolling. This is Randy Roberts. I'm here in the City of Angels with Rosa Gonzalez, coach for the Cuban women's soccer team. So, Rosa, tell us, what's the deal with soccer? And wouldn't it be easier if you just used your hands? your favorite character and bend it like Beckham. And you can't say Beckham. Any progress? Well, I've, um input new parameters to reconfigure the mapping software. But I got Buckus. What is that? Security alarm at the beach house. Their refuse bin integrity has been compromised. What? Well, somebody broke into their garbage can area. You put an alarm on their garbage cans? Well, it's L.A. I mean, people go through other people's trash. So do neighborhood pets. I know. I've been tracking this rogue golden retriever named Bobo, but he's a sniffer, not a digger. He lacks the paw to jaw dexterity necessary to breach the outer lid of the can. See? That's not Bobo. Send security detail out to the house. Running through face recognition. Oh, Duncan? This was a good idea. You know, when I was a little girl, I was so fascinated with a soccer player named Pepe. Oh, you mean Pele? He was good, too. Thank you so much, Carmela, and good luck with the game tomorrow. I don't think there was a Pepe. No. And we're out. <clears throat> Cassie. How are you doing, running out of random soccer stuff? Just a few more minutes, I've almost picked up all of the DNA. You know, there's something about being in a locker room that brings back memories. Team spirit? Towel fights. Athlete's foot. Ooh. Girl over by the water cooler. We haven't talked to her yet. That security guard hasn't taken his eyes off her since she came off the field. Have you finished your interviews? Uh, one more to go, then we'll be out of your way. I'm sorry, but we're running out of time. These girls really need to concentrate on the game. Okay. Thanks for all your help. Cassie, there's a girl coming towards the locker room. Long, dark hair and a ponytail. She just came in. Coach wouldn't let us near her. Must be a reason. Find out. Hi. I'm with She Got Game TV. I'm sorry, but I can't give an interview without my coach. Oh, it'll be really quick. How are you liking America so far? I really have to go. Are, is your family really proud of you? I don't have a family. Oh. So sorry. But you know, your story would make an interesting profile for my show. Orphan girl, you know, grows up to be soccer hero. You really think people might be interested in my story? Maybe. Do you want to tell it to me? Well, um, my mother died when I was very little. And I'm not sure what happened to my father. Some say he left the country. The government says he died in a car accident. Do you remember anything about him at all? This is all I have left. It's me when I was little. Juanita, 
listen to me. This may come as a shock to you, but your real name is Alejandra Santiago. Your father didn't die in a car accident. In fact, he's here in the United States. I came here to find you and take you to him. You, you, you can't be serious. I work for the U.S. government, and I just spent 20 minutes picking through a pile of dirty socks. Trust me, I'm serious. Cassie, we've got a problem. Security guards are headed your way. All right, have the band pull up to the player's entrance. We'll meet you there. Is there a problem? No, just stay low, keep covered, and try to ignore any screaming. Okay, come on. Seventeen years to see my daughter again, but these last few minutes have been the longest. What do I say to her? Well, I'm not a father, but I know when you speak from the heart, you can't go wrong. Papa? I can't believe it. My little Alejandra, is it really you? I You'll be spending the night tonight at a secure location here in Los Angeles. The State Department will be flying you back up to Berkeley in the morning. Thank you very much. Gracias. Agents McBain and Cummings will accompany you. What about me? You and I need to have a little chat. Oh, at a cozy cafe that serves lattes and scones? Guess not. She'll call you when she's done. Oh, freaks me out when he does that. Okay, so I took home a stapler. I'll bring it back tomorrow. I understand you've been seeing a man named A.J. Matthews. You been spying on me? No, but he's been spying on you. He's been going through our trash? Apparently, Mr. Matthews is a freelance writer who makes a living off garbage. He sold the national title of four stories in the last two years, his most recent title. Jacko's alien love child. So you ran a check on a guy I'm dating? Question is, why didn't you? Because it's creepy to run a check on someone you're dating, that's why. You're a spy. Comes with the territory. A.J. Matthews is no amateur. That makes him a security risk. So what do you want me to do? I want you to end the relationship. What if I really like him? Shane, Matthews isn't going to stop. If you don't do it now, sooner or later, he's going to get himself into a situation that you're both going to regret. Oh, and I want that stapler back on my desk first thing in the morning. These agents will get you anything you need. Gracias. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> That's kind of strange. What do you mean? She didn't say five words to her father on the way over here. It's like she didn't remember him at all. She's only four the last time they saw each other. She probably doesn't remember that much. So what? I remember stuff from when I was four. Like what? I remember trying to water the lawn furniture because I thought it would grow. I do remember being chased by the kid next door with an open safety pin. I remember thinking I could turn off the ocean. I remember my Christmas tree burning to the ground. I remember loving cherry popsicles. I remember getting my fingers stuck in a rat trap. You know, ISD offers free counseling to all its employees. Yeah? So what's your point? No point. your message. You came as soon as I could. What's with the Delores face? 
Somebody saw you going through my garbage. And I know all about you and Jacko's alien love, baby. Hey, that was a one-time thing. He meant nothing to me, and it's over. Okay, not in the mood. Look, I didn't think you would go out with me if you knew I wrote about aliens and two-headed pigmen and Cher. It still doesn't explain you going through my trash. Shane, I've been trying for a long time to break out of the tabloid business and write for a real paper. All I need is one good story. And you thought you were going to find your story in my garbage? Well, not the whole story. Maybe just a paragraph or two. Okay, look. <laughs> this morning when I came by, I heard something about a mission and the future of cold fusion technology. Not cold fusion. We were planning a menu for a party at a mission with Asian fusion cuisine. Cold Asian fusion cuisine. You expect me to buy that? Not really. But if you want to know what was going on, all you had to do was ask. OK, I'm asking. And I can't tell you. Thus, the garbage. You know what, AJ? You're just going to have to make a choice, all right? It's either me or my garbage. Let me know when you make your decision. OK. You know, they say what happens in the first five years of a person's life affects who they are forever. Yeah, so? Well, yeah, so what happened to you in your childhood could be affecting who you are today. What's wrong with who I am today? Nothing. But your inner child might need healing. I don't have an inner child. Yes, you do. Everybody does. Yours is just lost and wandering, like a kid at the mall. She's not lost. She's, she's at the food court waiting to con your inner child out of her lunch money. Are you two still at the safe house? No. Why? I'm not sure, but I think we may have a problem. We're listening. I thought it would be kind of neat to put the two halves of Miss Santiago's photo together, sort of as a, a keepsake of her special moment that she can carry near her heart. Is this Hallmark moment leading somewhere? Well, after I merged the images, I ran it through my age progression software. It looks nothing like the girl you guys brought home from the soccer stadium. You're saying we got the wrong girl? But she had the other half of the photograph. Her past and history matched everything Santiago said. Oh, my God. What if we were set up? What if she's a Cuban agent? I don't know. Duncan, have you told Cross? No, because I could be wrong. I mean, we all know this program has had a few bugs. And, and if I am wrong, I don't know what Mr. Cross will do to me. All right, look, we're just a few miles away. We'll turn around and go back to the safe house. Here it is. The best Cuban food in town, they tell me. Hi, Papi. I can hardly wait. Shrimp. I told them no shrimp. Oh, that's OK. I love shrimp. Yes, but you're allergic to shellfish. Oh, you know, I grew out of that a long time ago. Now, when you were four, I remember you eating a tiny piece of shrimp and you blew up like a balloon. Do you remember? Of course. How could I forget? I had trouble breathing. Your uncle Ramon was very scared. I could still see him taking us to the hospital, driving like a madman. I'm so sorry I scared all of you. You do not have an uncle Ramon. You are not my daughter. Guards! Don't worry, doctor. We're taking you back. A Cuba. Hey, let's not overreact. This is probably just a false alarm. Right. We're still going to find weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. You know, a healthy inner child would make all the difference in your attitude. My inner child thinks your inner child needs a timeout. Oh, so you two are talking again. That's good. <sighs> Never a good sign when a safe house door is unlocked.
chain. Hey. Well, that was fast. Well, would you be happier if it took me longer to realize that you're more important to me than garbage? Just so we're clear, is that an apology? That's why writers need editors. Baby, it's hard enough trying to find someone interested in dating me in a town full of good-looking guys with hot cars, vacation houses, expense accounts. You know, you could stop me any time. I told you I'm not into all of that. I know. That's why I don't want to lose you. Does this mean you're going to stay out of my trash cans? Yes, but no promises on your garbage disposal. What do you think? That's what I think. Good. Good. I missed you. Lab just faxed me the DNA reports on the samples from the locker room. The one you brought here is a Cuban Secret Service agent. So this whole thing was set up by the Cubans. Gotta admit, they pull a pretty good con. Did the lab identify his real daughter? Cubans gave her the name of Carmela Hernandez. I remember her. Real cute, kind of shy. No missing. Intel says she wasn't with the team this afternoon. Cubans could be using her as leverage against her father. Yeah, something along the lines of come back to Cuba or we'll kill your daughter. Only probably in Spanish. Hey, you see this? Turns out that soccer coach we interviewed is also a Cuban operative. Wait a minute. We have her on tape, right? Yeah, why? Her cell phone. What are we looking for? And that soccer coach turned on her cell phone and displayed its number. There, freeze it. You blow up this frame, get the number off the phone and triangulate its position. Got it. That's it. Nice work, Duncan. Now she's a Santiago. We'll be able to find him. That's... that's brilliant. A visitor. Alejandra? Are you my father? You know, I can't remember the last time I had wine that wasn't poured from a box. Well, lucky for you, I've given up on looking for a man with money. <sighs> Hello? Hope you're not in the middle of anything important. Leave a message after the tone. Beep. Sorry to interrupt your downtime, but we've run into a slight problem. Slight as in slight or slight as in... That'd be the one. The daughter we reunited with Santiago is actually a Cuban operative. And now they've kidnapped Santiago and his real daughter. The good news is we think we know where they are. Got a pen? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, I'll be right over. I am so sorry. We have to cut this short. Another party, 911. Well, call me after you've saved the souffle. I just want to let you know, 
that I left my day with AJ early for this. How do you smell? What are you talking about? Well, a lot of romantic attraction is based on smell. Like the fragrance of cologne after shave. Rotting garbage. OK, so Cross told you. What? Oh, you mean how Oscar the Grouch went from being your favorite Muppet to your boyfriend? I just want to know one thing. Did AJ find a tube of mud mask? I chucked it by mistake. And since he's a little short on cash, just tell him whatever he finds in the recycling that he can keep. <laughs> you know, I guess when you don't have a boyfriend, you got a lot of time to work on your comedy. Ooh. Now, can we please get back to business? That's where the Cubans are holding Santiago and his daughter. Entry points. All still doors. Huh. Glad I wasn't sent out here to do something easy. Did you follow me? Wow, you look great in that man. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, it's all forgiven. What are you doing here? I think it's pretty obvious. He's a trashaholic. You lied to me. You said that I was more important to you than any stupid story. You lied to her? You're in trouble. Just calm down. Look, I guess I promised something that I wasn't able to live up to. But this is my big chance, maybe my only chance. Didn't you ever have a dream that you would do anything to achieve? Not one I would betray my friend for. Done. No. Whatever it is you're gonna do, good luck. Just wait. Look, we gotta get into that building some way, right? What if he helps us in? He can keep his story. All right. But you don't use our names. You don't say who we are or who we work for. Done. And if you go back on your word this time, well, just don't. Uh, specifics, Deeds. Threats work better with specifics. For example. If you even think about using our names, I will track you down and pull your pancreas through your nose. You got it? Oh, yeah. That was good. So. Just watch yourself. Keep working on it, Dates. All right. So what do you have in mind? You are me. Hope the Cubans fought for this. Hope this spinning thing here holds us. Hope baby's car bursts into a ball of flame. Still ticked. I think my inner child needs work. Isn't there any easier way out of this? Sure, we could ask them nicely to put down their guns and come out and surrender. Sounds good to me. What's the big deal? We've jumped off roofs before. And dangled high above the city on skinny little ropes. Which at any given moment could have snapped us into hurling to our death. Go ahead. Make your jokes. But if I lose my grip and fall screaming to my death and smash head first onto the pavement and my brains gush out all over the place, you're going to be sorry. Well, I know I won't be hungry. Guys, let's do this. On three. One, two. Maybe we should check to see if there's an open window. Three. I just spoke with Alana. They'll have a play ready for us in two hours. What is that?
Somebody's blowing their horn right out in front. What the hell does he want? You think that now we're here? Score. USA one, Cuba nothing. That's what needs. Did you get AJ to the airport on time? Yep. And I picked up this Cuban defector reunited with daughter by AJ Matthews. Nice placement, too. Yep. And no mention of our names. Are you okay? Sure. No, I'm really glad that AJ got that job at the Dallas Herald. It's, it's a big step up for him. Anything's a step up from boy eats own foot. <clears throat> and at least we know Bobo's the only one going through our trash. Yeah, I know AJ was a, a pain, but I'm really gonna miss him. You know, it's probably better AJ left. I mean, think about it. A reporter married to a spy, it's like Wiley Coyote marrying the Roadrunner. Never work out. What are you talking about? You see, this is what happens when I try to get in touch with my inner child. <laughs> you know what I start to do when I feel sorry for myself? I remember all the people who are far worse off than me. Chicago Cub fans? Not that bad. <laughs> Today, in Judge Jenny's courtroom, a dramatic tale of intrigue and betrayal when a dry cleaner and his disgruntled customer square off over the spot wouldn't come out. Let's see how it unfolds. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Why is the cross never calls when you need him to? He can't. I unplugged the phone. I don't have shifty eyes, Excuse me, it is not your turn to speak. 